Hey everybody, so like a lot of you, I finished Uden Chronicle Rising the other day, I posted the review for it, and I liked it, I enjoyed my time with it. Was it perfect? No, not by any means. But did I enjoy it? Oh yeah, I did, absolutely. Especially considering what I thought it was gonna be and what it ended up being in the long run. I thought it was definitely worth my time, and it was a great first step into the Uden Chronicle world. So no, so we got the main 2022 update and then I did get spoiled a little bit because it was unavoidable since I read video game news and that is there's a Switch version. Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes is coming to the Nintendo Switch and that hasn't shocked me because they've been very soft. They've been getting softer and softer about how they've been talking about a Nintendo Switch version as time has gone on. So no big shocker, especially since a Nintendo successor console could be God knows when. You would think soon, but anyway, let's get into the meat of the update, shall we? May 2022 update. Hey there, heroes. Firstly, we would like to address the ongoing delay surrounding the backer product codes for Unicron Rising. Oh shit, right. I, I didn't get my code. I didn't really pursue it though, because I just was like, I need to play this game now, so I paid the $20. Yeah, so that's still a thing apparently. Uh, and want to sincerely thank every hero for their patience as we work through these issues. At least we may out of the road with the... The prequel game. If you still haven't received your product code for Uden Chronicle Rising, then please don't hesitate to reach out to the Yeedy customer service who are working hard to answer questions and solve problems. In the meantime, we have some exciting news for those who have might have missed it. Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Knew that. That's right. Given recent speculation over the Nintendo Switch and potential next generation Nintendo iterations, we wanted to play it safe and investigate what options we have before fully committing to Nintendo Switch version. But now the wait is over and we're delighted to confirm that Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes will be landing on Nintendo Switch. Which we figured, our oh, character profile, oh, the best part. Oh my God, let's see this shit. Whoa, let's see Yalu. Yalu, definitely giving me some of the, uh, first thing that pops in my head is like some ring vibes, just based off the fact we can't see her face at all. So Yalu, Yalu, okay. Uh, home, a small settlement in the League of Nations. Gender female, age 15. Favorite food, blueberry pie. Yilu hails from a reclusive settlement. Fits with her character. Uh, inquisitive by nature, she is struggling to overcome her shyness and find the courage to make contact with the outside world. Her settlement uses a rune lens to cloak itself from prying eyes. Ooh, mysterious. Uh, the settlement worships the lens, and it is their custom to hide their eyes behind their bangs as a sign of reverence. Interesting. Um, excuse me, I am. Um, I mean, do you think, could you, could you take me with you? I want to see what the rest of the world is like. Kwano's comment. Yelu is someone who never, ever reveals her eyes. And when I say never, ever, I mean it. We have a lot, we have a lot planned for Yelu. Ooh, interesting. Regardless of what situations she finds herself in, however, she never loses her enthusiasm, and I try to express that in this art pixel art <sighs> Ooh, keep on giving okay okay so this is the this is the look of the empire soldiers definitely a little bit different from um i think it was the empire soldiers in kind of the the kickstarter launch campaign there was at least one sprite and it was kind of like more purpley colored these soldiers are giving me like kind of like slight highland vibes from sweet in too and we got uh oh shit and we got our two we got Sign Kesling. We got our, our, you know, his number one girl here. And then we got another guy here, too. Uh, cool. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. So, holy shit. So, we got our ninja girl here. Okay, this guy on the far right in the pink. Haven't seen him. The older lady below that. Haven't seen her either. Then we got Hakugin. Awesome. Our backer ninja girl. And then this was Bernard and Ormond and Marissa. God damn it. I can't remember this girl's name. We just played her in Uden Chronicle Rising. Oh, yes. I had, to, I had to look it up quick. So it's Malor and then Hogan as well from Uden Chronicle Rising. Oh my gosh. This dude in the pink looks like a freaking just like some crazy like Yakuza brawler gangster type. Uh could that could be not that that could be the farthest thing from what his personality is like definitely looks like it and then this uh this older lady here i i don't even know what to make her she kind of has that that ninja feel as well but hard to say and it's nice to see the pixel art blown up so much because usually we've seen them like quite small in these trailers digging it man digging it 
can't wait to see what they look like in battle too because obviously their battle poses will be completely different uh let's move on let's move on marie Amos monthly development report a lot of different characters appear in uterine chronicle 100 heroes not only those with big parts to play in the main story, but also those with a variety of other roles to fulfill. Party members who are capable of fighting have different characteristics, while other characters have unique abilities that will allow you to employ a variety of different strategies in the battle system. There are also general type characters who will really shine on the field of battle. Got it. We also have characters whose roles are to manage facilities. Some may be store owners, while others will supply the character or will supply the player with convenient services. On top of that, we've also prepared a slew of characters whose jobs are just to provide fun for the player, such as through a simple combat oriented RPG style minigame and more. This motley crew of characters will all be living in the same town, which acts as, which acts as your home base. We'll also be preparing simple events and dialogue that allows you to catch a glimpse into their daily lives. Therefore, in order to make all that happen, we're currently exchanging ideas and figuring out how the different characters' relationships will work. Do these two go out fishing together? Do these two have fun talking about love? Are these two rivals? And so on and so forth. Ooh, I love that. I love that. It's too much of a job for me to handle all by myself, so I'm collecting ideas for my staff members as well. They're coming up with a lot of fun ideas and combinations that I would never have been able to come up with on my own. The surprises are a lot of fun to discover, and I truly feel like this is an important step that will allow us to pour even more depth into the world and its characters. I hope you're also having fun imagining things on your own. Yeah, man. Sick. Word from the team. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm just going to say konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa and konbanwa. This month's word is brought to you by Komuda. Last month, you got a glimpse into the team's daily life. So I should probably give you a glimpse into what's happening on the development side of things, huh? Walking around the map that connects the world together, checking out towns and dungeons, fighting enemies, buying things in shops, dueling and sparring, fishing and playing with tops, etc. There's a lot to do in Union Chronicle 100 Heroes. Through working on the prototype, we've been able to pinpoint the issues and things we need to work on, as well as to find what the player can and can't do in the game. What, what must we keep and what must we drop in the limited time we've got left? Is it really okay to just drop and cut the things we can't make? Every day we're faced with hard decisions about a variety of things. Sometimes we're not sure what decision to make. And in times like that, we try to focus back on what our core concept of Uterine Chronicle 100 Heroes is. I personally believe the concept of Uterine Chronicle 100 Heroes is giving form to the unique aspects of each character. Yes! This doesn't mean the player can customize each character any way they want, but rather we need to set limitations for the role of each character. Yeah, make them unique. We want to purposely give characters weaknesses and limitations in order to give a unique identity to each and every one of the 100 plus characters in the game. Sounds great. We don't need them all to be carbon copies of one another. Naturally, with the battles we planned and worked on, we have strived to give individuality to the animations and abilities for each battle-ready character. I spent a lot of time planning out each character so that they function and fight the way we envision them to. Mariyama san thinks up their characters. Kwano san gives them form with their illustrations. Jason and the character team allow them to move using pixel art. The planner gives them roles within the game. And then finally, at least one character is born. And we have to do this over a hundred times. Lol. Due to that, we're so busy every day. Oh, there's art here. That it makes me dizzy sometimes. And when we and when work gets really busy, it really makes me want to cook. Oh damn it's, it's cooking dish. I thought it was gonna be art. Uh, I found some guanciale, ooh, guanciale, very tasty, which I love at a store I stopped by the other day. When I picked it up, the guy working there immediately figured out what I was doing and said, making carbonara. I recommend adding a dash of kelp tea. So I bought some in the supermarket, mixed it in with some eggs and cheese and made myself some carbonara. Thanks to the kelp tea that I very apprehensively added, it ended up becoming the best carbonara I've ever made. Wow. Thanks, guys, the store. I'll be back to buy it again. See you later, everyone. Please keep cheering us on. We will keep cheering you on. Especially if you give us this goddamn pixel art. Oh, man, that looked good. I can see this punk here just being a total softy. Oh, like in everyone, Bernard looks good. Oh, man, we got to get some character profiles for these characters, too, still. Nope. Uh, looking sick man who the hell is this dude on the right it almost looks like noah's brother or something because they have like the same hair color and eye color i think so obviously we get a another another dude to deal with oh man i don't know what the league soldiers look like if it's like a hodgepodge different be different looking uh troops serve that's a lot of work though for pixel artists absolutely god damn man hogan i just hear crocodile dundee's voice every time i see him uh no man hack again fuck yeah Oh, God, I'm just so excited. Oh, yeah. 
And there and there's still so much more to come to down the pipe. I guess I mean we know like what thirty characters roughly. I'm gonna have to do a count of how many characters we actually know about. Because in this update alone, we got three more. One one of them named in the profile, and two we don't know anything about. Oh no, sorry, four. One two no one two yeah. So three char one character where we got a profile in our pick start, and then three don't we don't know anything about. Nah, awesome. I was hoping for uh I I was not expecting this meaty of an update. For you to chronicle 100 heroes i thought it was very much going to be kind of like a, a final send off to rising and talking about that at, about that game one more time before we got actually anything but 100 heroes again but not only did we get a character profile but we just got a freaking bomb of pixel art dropped on us which i'm super excited about and as good as this pixel art looks it doesn't even do it justice because go back and look at this pixel art in the trailers and it looks even better it looks even better when they're in the environments that have been crafted for them with the lighting. Like, this doesn't even do them justice. And they already look good here. Nah, sick update, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and which of these four new characters do you like the most? Yelu or one of these two unknowns with the main group or this this unknown uh, officer of the Empire here with, uh, with Hildy and Sain Kesling. All right, guys. Good update. I'll talk to you soon. Take it easy.